Okay, I want to show you about wildcards in queries, and I'm going to show this to you in 2003 and 2010. If you're using 2010, it looks pretty much the same as 2007. So basically, what does a wildcard do? Well, I'm just going to open up this table here called Contacts. And what a wildcard will do is it will allow me to basically substitute something in for any particular letters. So if I wanted to find everyone's name that started with the letter R, I can type in R put in a wildcard and it will come up with anything that has an R and anything afterwards. You can see that on this list here. You can see I've got this one here. I'm actually going to add in one which is slightly different. You may have heard of this guy. And I'm not going to do any other information for him but you can see there is a slight difference in the spelling of the name. Firstly there's an R and a T here but there isn't here okay so that's significant because I might want to find that I might not remember how someone's name is spelt and I want to substitute something in there I might be looking for postcodes that have particular letters that it starts with here I'm not interested in the numbers or I might want to find everything that ends in way here so I'm just going to quickly set up a query and I'm going to show you how that works and it works the same in 2010 so I'm going to flick backwards and forwards between the two so you can see it. And as I said, 2007, whenever I say 2010, that's what I mean. So I'm just going to close that. Don't have to save it because the record automatically is saved. So I'm going to go to Queries. I'm going to go to New. I'm going to open up in Design View. And I just need to double click on this one here called Contacts to add it to my Query Grid here. So I'm going to click on Close. I want to add all of these uh, fields in here this time. So what I can do is I'm just going to double click on this title at the top where it says contacts and you'll see it's automatically highlighted everything. I'm then just going to click and drag on any one of those and it will drop all of them into here. I can then move them around. I can delete any that I don't want. So if I didn't want that one there for letter I just click there and I just press delete and it's gone. Okay, so as I said, I've got some names in there, and the first thing I wanted to do was I'm taking the last name, and I wanted to find anything that begins with the letter R, and this is not case sensitive. So to do that, I'm going to type in R like that. Now, a wildcard is simply, there are two that are of importance here, one of them is the asterisk. If I do that, it will find R with anything afterwards. It substitutes any characters in there. And it may be that there are no characters, or there may be a whole load of characters. So it really doesn't matter. If I now click on Run, you'll see it's now found everyone that has got an R as the first letter there. OK, so that is the start of using wildcards. OK, now, if I go back to here, I might want to find that one. Remember I had Schwartz and Schwarzenegger in there. So if I remember, it starts with SC. It has a Z in it, so I could go Z like that. So that's going to find that one here. If I put, so you can see it's substituted any letters there. And you'll see that when I do this, I should have mentioned this earlier, it puts in like and it puts the quotes in. OK, so I could put an asterisk at the end here. Now that's found both. So you can see now if there's a spelling error, you're not sure how a name was spelled or whatever, wildcards are great for narrowing this down. And you could have as many different wildcards as you like going across. So I could have, for example, a postcode over here, and I want it to be N, and I put an asterisk in, and it'll find any that are N. And you'll see that there's one here with one character, some with two. So there is something useful here that I can do as well. I can go N, and if I want those with two characters, I can put in question marks. Every question mark is a character, and it has to be there. So if I was to try and do that with the Schwartz one, that would be different. Let me just show you this one. If I hit Run, you'll see now it's only got those with N and two characters afterwards. Just one more before I go back to that Schwartz one that I was talking about. I can also put in here for the address there were some with way. I can go asterisk way and click on run. And you'll see it's got all of those come up. 
Okay, so if I was to go back to here. Okay, so if I come to here, I'm going to do this here. Uh, I've got a character missing and then an asterisk. Okay, if I had an asterisk instead of that question mark, it would have found Schwartz and Schwarzenegger. Now it just finds the Schwartz because there must be a character there. Again, those have their place. The question marks are very useful, so you might be thinking, right, I know that this name isn't in here, but let's say it's someone's name, such as Spielberg. You may not remember if it's IE or EI. So I'm just going to do that. I could. I may not be sure if it's an E or a U there. So you can see by using the question marks, it will find that with those exact missing characters, and they can be any characters. Spielberg's not in here, so there's no point running that one. So that's using wildcards in Access. I'm just going to quickly show you exactly the same. If I go to 2010, I can do exactly the same thing in here. I just simply, I've already set it up for you, so I can just go CHWAR, and I do the asterisk, Z, and put it there, and you'll see it does exactly the same thing. If I run it, it's got both. Schwartz and Schwarzenegger in there. So you can see that in these queries, it doesn't matter whether you're in 2010, 2003, if you've got your query set up, you can just simply do exactly the same thing here, such as that N and the two question marks. You'll see if I run that, it comes up with those that I mentioned. So really important, they do work. Wildcards are very, very useful. Once again, if I wanted to add all the fields in here, it's exactly the same as doing it in 2003. Double click on the title at the top there and I can click and drag any of them into here. So that's using wildcards in Access 2003, 2010 and it also works in 2007.